All right, Devotion, let's see what's up. I heard lots of good things about this, aside from the, the controversy. Some were even saying it's uh, inspired by Silent Hill to some degree, but maybe that's wrong. Like, kind of a similar aesthetic or vibe. Bless us. Bless kind of us. a messy house and a lot of books. Mama? Like a. Oh. Thanks very much, Raj, again for the five months. Literally? Oh, why is the whole screen kind of shaking? Are we okay? I can't move, by the way. Uh oh. Knife sounds? That soup looks so good. Should I turn the volume up, or you guys hear it okay? <clears throat> I can move now. Sounds alright. A drawing done by Mei Shin. Look a happy family. I wanted to check out this honker over here. The red arowanda, or arowana. A pet fish considered to bring luck and prosperity. It's a little small for that tank, isn't it? It basically just sits there. So this room is quite dark. Uh, you get a light switch or anything? I really can't see very well. Okay, maybe we don't go in there. It basically just sits there. Me too. Me too. Graphically, this looks quite nice. Very somber vibe to it, for sure. Okay, see you later, at LexiPixel. God of theater and art, General Tendu. Tendu's for Bendu. Oh. Did we just... Yeah, we did. We PT'd. Oh. Well, that's a strange place to put that.
I tend to keep my umbrellas not floating. Whoa! It's one of those games where you just kind of walk in direct directions. Didn't really know quite what that was. You're the monkey. It was you're the rabbit a second ago. House key. Ooh, that looks very nice. Oh, it's Li Fang in her glory days. Signatures of the film crew adorn the picture. If I hang these idol portraits up, I think she'd be pretty happy about it. Have you ever stepped through a familiar door only to enter into a house that seems strange and detached? It's pretty wild how many games are coming out with this level of just really polished looking visuals. Scene one as the script. Moving in, close up, the husband carried his ponded plant over to the window, places it on the sill. It's the husband smiling. People say tulips symbolize elegance and sweetness, just like our child. Wife says, like you know, child hasn't even been born yet. All right, let's finish organizing, get dinner ready. Flower isn't blooming anytime soon, so let's eat. Soup's getting cold. Close up. The couple arrange their new home together. They hang her paintings on the empty wall, set his medals on the cabinet, and place their china on the shelves. With the human touch, the empty abode begins to feel more like home. After adjusting some furniture, the husband returns to the living hall and finds his wife waiting for him with a gift. I guess we'll find out what that gift will be in the next bit of the screenplay. This looks like Unreal Engine to me, if I were to guess. The, uh, the volumetric air particles and the uh, bokeh effects and such are giving me that vibe. You didn't miss much if you just got here. I only recently changed it. Hanging nails. To hang yourself by the nails by. Um, what? Bottoms are labeled do. Li Fang and them have them custom made. Oh, okay. I'd like to put the, the picture up. How do I do that? Oh. Bless us. Bless us. He thinks posters and record titles from her heyday after her marriage just stopped getting her portraits done. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you very much, DK Coefficient, for the seven months of stay and subscribed. That. There's one of those peeping holes. Funny, the things they let you look at and the things they don't. The empty dish rack, like I wouldn't have been able to tell. Alright. Am I supposed to walk back out now?
Oh, I'm supposed to put the trophies. I totally said that. And the bowls. Now I get it. Ah, yes, the classic floral cleaning detergent. Does it have a hint? Really see much in here. Oh, well, something's happened to this. Decorative doll made of icing. That didn't look like a doll made of icing. And I've seen a few dolls made of icing before. Where do those go? I feel like people are going to be chasing after the PT aesthetic for like 20 years. Hopefully we'll get a few proper versions of that imagined reality. What's... why am I shaking? Oh. What was your gift? This we're in the Oberdeen. Yeah, I wouldn't hold out much hope for another Silent Hill, to be honest. <laughs> she got me a nice lighter. I mean, that's cool. Now I can see in the study. 1980. This is the lighter you've always wanted. You must be exhausted from all the unpacking. Get some rest. I want you to know I'll support you always. Happy Father's Day, your loving wife. That's nice. Bird? Dolphin? This is a pretty extreme tweet. I can't read that. I wish I could. Ooh, crab. <gasps> oh. Look at the tiger! He's a little chubby guy. I like him. What a sweetie. So now it's 1986? We just time traveled, I think. Or did we go to the apartment number 1986? Oh. Disp indispensable item for every writer. That's an interesting choice to make them into these mannequins. Uh, school correspondence journal. Homework, chapter one, Chinese vocabulary, arithmetic practice, daily journal. Today I clean my room and daddy helped me put all my toys away. My room has very big bed. I can play house on top of it. 
Teacher's comments. You should try cleaning your room yourself. Wrecked. Uh, quiz scores, vocabulary 95, math 97. That's pretty solid. Kid is doing just fine. Oh no! The fish has gone missing. Who left the door open? I've never just lost a fish before like that, but I guess it can happen to the best of us. Just turn your mind away from one, just for one second. This is a pretty dire, empty room. A small chair used when playing house. Oh, this is the gnome that goes under the ground in the high-speed train station. A.K.A. the metronome. Watch out. Lost it one day, so I bought a single lens camera. I remember once owning a Polaroid camera. Lost it one day, so I bought a single lens camera. A doll used when playing house. If I were to guess, hear me out. Probably the doll wants to go sit on the bed. We'll see, though. Thanks very much for the host, DJ Red Dwarf. And welcome. There you go. Birthday grab. The birthday grab is a ceremony performed for a baby who's reached one year of age. In ancient times, the chances of a baby dying young were high. It was rare to reach the age of one, and so a cause for celebration. Therefore, in present times, to honor the ancestors and anticipate a safe and healthy future for the baby, this ceremony has become an important custom. People believe that placing various items in front of the baby and seeing what it grabs can predict what type of career the baby will have in the future. Commonly used items include a pen, ink, paper, enamel, an abacus, garden tools, seals, etc. Other items include homophonic objects that correspond to careers or traits. Garlic sounds like calculate in Chinese, so it can represent an accounting career. Onion sounds like smart and can represent an intellectual career. Uh, the direction of a child's development is of great significance to parents, especially in modern times. Parents expect a lot from a child's early education, and it is wise to cultivate a child's interest and expertise from a young age to develop a head start in his or her career. Fair enough. Oh, there's more stuff now. Besides singing, Mayshin also loves doodling. She get her a doodle bear. They love to doodle and doodle and doodle, and when there's no room for something new, they just hop in the washing machine and they come out nice and clean because I'm the doodle bear. Hey guys, what up? We're just uh, going over May, uh, Mayshin, what was her name again? I already forgot, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Mayshin loves to doodle, and we were just talking about how she should get a doodle bear, so you should maybe indulge her in that. Is that you buying her a doodle bear? That's cool. Playing piano at a young age can develop some great motor skills, but can also be a bit stifling at times. Ah, uh, yes. I always get to have a look at the toilet for some reason. Mansion's Piano Practice Book. Hmm.
I feel like I should put that over here, probably. Oh, that's nice. They actually use the real keys. I wonder if there's some middleware that actually lets you feed notes into it and then it will, you know, press the quote-unquote proper key to correspond with the music. That would be a really neat thing, actually, for this, this kind of moment, although it probably doesn't happen that frequently. MIDI interpreter? Hmm. Like, if this is the only time it happens in the game, then probably you could just do it by hand, but... Probably be much more efficient to just have it done automated. Ah, I know where this goes. Deepest piano lore. Icing doll! Thunk. Ah, you're 444,999 years old. That cake looks deciduous. What happened to it? <sighs> Old jittery TV is so creepy, isn't it? I know you meant... I'm just kidding, Glenn. Yeah! Show it who's boss. I love that. It's like trying to sound happy, but it's just terrifying. New friend? You're welcome to come in. This is a place for friends. You're all welcome. Oh, I thought we were coming in. They sing so well. Who threw that? No playing in the hallway. Uh-oh. Wait. Is like a baby in there or I'm confused. Somebody's been doodling. Need a new doodle bear. Ooh, green. Love the lighting effects in this so far. Oh, it's the year of the ox. Now we're going to 1985. So we just went backward, right? We were at 86 and then we went a year ago? I kind of wish we wouldn't just only be in the apartment, though. I've played a lot of games like this lately. Third year student, do mission, uh, difficulty breathing, sent to school clinic, actions taken, emergency transportation to hospital. 
Further medical testing is advised as early as possible. After receiving this notice and seeking further medical attention, have the doctor fill out the reply form with the treatment provided. Return the reply slip to the school's uh, medical clinic so we may continue to provide the student with medical care. Hey, the fish is back. That was very stormy, yeah. You can tell they put the X's on the windows. The reason that happens, if you don't know, is uh, if something were to smash the window, it's to keep, or try to keep, the chunks of glass together as much as possible. And uh, I've had to do that before, too. Doesn't work for crap, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of suspected as much. Thankfully, I've never had it go wrong, but... Wash hands before entering. Oh, okay, because the child is sick, so it's like a quarantined room. I see. Wait, it's the bathroom. No, this is the bath. Okay, right, 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 right. Why is that important to put it back together? No, to make it so it doesn't shoot tons and tons of bits of glass all over your house. Never a fan of that. Oh, what are we looking at? Yeah, you're right. I've been picking on your, like, my nails so much lately. I actually made my finger bleed the other day. It's freaking anxiety, man. Not quite as bad as that or anything, but... And they're, like, more relatable than I thought. I just have that habit now where, like, whenever I'm not thinking about it, my thumbnail will just start, like, picking at the skin under my, my fingernail. I did it so bad the other day, it, like, actually stung the whole next day. Um, what happened to my lighter? I wanted that... Oh, I guess I don't get to see now. I mean, honestly, this place is pretty cozy. It sucks there seems to be, like, an awful demon problem going on, but... I mean, as far as... Like, a residential space, aside from maybe some of this water damage and moldy stuff... Uh... Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like a terrible place to live. It seems very, like, normal in, in terms of what you would expect someone to live in. I mean, again, except for some of the damage stuff, but... Nobody's perfect, I guess, either. Oh, now I can use my lighter. Yeah, apart from the demon, everything's fine. Oh, dang. They're putting up weird medical posters in a room? That's probably not ideal. Hmm. That's not good. Jeez. Yeah, this the sound and the lighting, like the color grading, is very Silent Hill. Oh, that was definitely crying, no doubt. I mean, she had needles all in her. Thoracic specialist, chest tightness, difficulty breathing, medical order, patient's x-ray and blood work analysis, normal, no physical ailments observed, recommended, not sure. X-ray film found in the case folder. Can't really tell what's wrong with it. Oh. This is different. Oh, did we just teleport into the hospital? 
Protracted illness. Scene four. Child's room. Night interior. Wait, so this is like the script, but is the script based on reality or vice versa? Candles eliminate the bed and herbal tea remedy. Child weekly. Father, when will we go down to the big city? Husband, we cannot do so under these troubling circumstances. Son, when your illness is passed, mother and I will take you anywhere you'd like. Child, father, the needles are painful. This treatment is unbearable. Husband pulls the acupunctural needles out of his child. Husband, no more pain, no more pain. Father, won't you have... Uh, father won't have you suffer any longer. The child, tired from crying, drifts into sleep. Wife, how is this going to work? It's been such a long time. My heart aches. Husband, set your mind at ease of another way. Ah. Now I know why it's ripped up. These bits that we're putting back together are so minor that it almost feels like why even bother? Oh. We can actually move these around. Alright. It's like kind of a puzzle, sort of. Oh. We get to point it at something? What would you like to point it at? There we go. 